Hello and welcome to Wireman's Whimsy. Today we are going to make this happy birthday to my beautiful friend card using the Friends Are Like Seashells stamp set with the um, Sand and Sea Designer Series paper and using the uh, die cuts called Seaside Seashells Dies. And that's the nice thing about this suite is the embossing folder matches the die, the large die, so you can cut it out and then you can emboss it. And then there are the other dies to cut out the smaller shapes. There's also these opal rounds, uh, which are just gorgeous, and these sticker sheets that came with it as well. So I just chose to store everything in one of my um, old large cases so that I had everything together. And the same with the Sand and Sea Designer Series paper. I've already cut it and stored it. And you can see all the gorgeous colors that are in there. So today I am using the Designer Series paper and I've just done it slightly differently than I normally do the paper. What I've done is I've cut my five and a quarter by four sheets diagonally to create the different areas of background. And the colors that I used are the Seaside Spray, Flirty Flamingo, and Pear Pizzazz. And I have already cut out the um, pieces that we need, just so it'll go a bit faster. I used the Seaside Spray and Flirty Flamingo to cut out two um, sand dollars and two starfish. And then I used the Pear Pizzazz to do some fronds and ferns. And these are the dies that I used to do this. I used the stitch rectangle die to do, uh, to cut out the greeting. And I've got a piece of one and a half by four um, designer series paper that I've used um, there. And then these are the dies that I've used to cut out the individual pieces. So I'll just put those off to the side. And we'll put those over there. So I just need some adhesive and some dimensionals to uh, put this together. So the basic size of the background is the five and a quarter by four. So you just kind of need to place your pieces. And if the middle doesn't line up, it's not a big deal because we're gonna cover the middle. But these pieces here along the edges, you should have no white space. So once you've cut your pieces out, just place them to make sure that you're good. And we are good to go. So I am just going to um, adhere the DSP to the card base. And I'm just going to do what I normally do and just line it up along an edge so that we are basically the right amount of space in and then I'm just going to go around and add my pieces. So I pre-stamped and pre-cut the individual pieces because I wanted to um, make sure we had a decent amount of time in the video to go through how I actually constructed the background. And so we're just going to line that up make sure we are equidistant there and we are and then put the last piece in and then it's simply a case of putting all the pieces together and i love how this goes together i loved this set when i saw it in the catalog and uh honestly i've struggled with it a little bit um trying to figure out what i'm going to do with it so i was really pleased when this kind of came together this morning i did lots of different kind of iterations of it and coloring and stamping and um, different things, but I decided that I liked this the best. So I'm just going to put that in <clears throat> the middle like that. And then I'm going to use my large dimensionals and attach this. And then I will put my pieces around it. So I'm just going to put this down, drop it in the middle like that. Okay, so then what I've done is put a sand dollar here and a sand dollar here and then used i've tucked them underneath and then i've dimensionalized the starfish on top so i'll just start building this 
And again, as always, you can do whatever you like, whatever works for you. Um, these cards are just an example of what can be done. They're a guideline and you take it from here. You can absolutely case the card and, uh, and that, or you can do something different and make it your own. Maybe you like more starfish on, or maybe you would like a different color DSP in the background. It's all you. These videos are just guidelines on how you can use the sets. So I'm just going to overlap this like that. And then I'm going to take my blue starfish and overlap it at the bottom. And I'm just putting a small dimensional on uh, just off to the side because the greeting is dimensionalized already and I don't want to keep stacking things up. So I just put that on like that. Again, it's wherever you think you'd like to have the piece. And then I am going to put, I've done the fronds just a little bit differently this time. They are going to be, this one is going to just tuck in behind here, just like that, just so we've got just a little bit of detail behind there. And then I'm going to use two over on this side, again, using the small dimensionals. And I'll just peel the back of that one off. And it, there we go. And just tuck it along there like that. And then I'm going to use, instead of using one of the ferns on this side, I'm going to use one of the fronds just so you can see what the difference is and how it gets put together. And I've got one extra frond because I wasn't sure how I wanted to, to go about this, but I am just going to tuck this underneath just like that. So there we go. So there you have two different versions using the different die cuts of the happy birthday to my beautiful friend card. And as always, if there was anything that you'd like to purchase uh, from this video, please use the links below um, and subscribe and hit those notifications so you can see when the next video comes up. Thank you very much and we'll see you next time.